you know what? This is a little video about encouragement for the Christians, you know. Those who are finding their, their way kind of rough. They feel all alone. They are sick. They have lost their jobs. They are discouraged. And it look like things will never come that they're praying for. There's so many families that have been broken up, you know, and, and, and they're so hard to find a, a real church of God giving him glory and praise. Let me make one thing clear. I love to go to a, a real Holy Spirit, a real Holy Ghost filled church where people are dancing and singing and giving God the glory and singing him praises guided by the Holy Spirit, not fake but by the real guiding of the Holy Spirit. I love to go to a church like that because the presence of God is there. For the Lord abides in the praises of his people, praise God. Now, God bless y'all folks, let's get to work. How do you feel when you're all alone? How do you feel when you're in doubt that your prayers will never be answered? Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. How do you feel when, when, when Nothing's going your way, or, or, or people are saying all kind of things against you. Remember Philippians chapter 2, verse 11. About your Lord, your Jesus, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And also remember one other thing, that he who is with you, the Christ, is greater than he who is in the world. So fight the good fight of faith. And we must remember, there's another thing I, I, I want to remember, because a lot of people now are walking away from the faith and, and because they're so discouraged by a lot of man-made doctors. You have to remember that Jesus loves you. He loves you with all his heart. Remember, what about when you were sick or are sick or know someone in your family who's a Christian who is sick? Remember Isaiah 53 and 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. In 1 Peter 2 and 24 it says, By his stripes we were already healed. Faith, faith, according to your faith, be it done unto you. This is what Jesus said. So fight the good fight of faith. Remember, like I said before, I'll say it again. We walk by faith and not by sight. And we have to remember that the principalities in the spirit evil spirits in the air or that people are really influenced by deeming these these days I mean now more so than ever Satan has took out all the stops but don't be discouraged he who is with you like I said before is greater than he who is in the world so like I said fight the good fight of faith let's let's read uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 mm. oh here he is for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in high places. See, Satan has put spirits, demons, and principalities in high places to, to influence people right in your own family who just don't believe. And they are sometimes a hindrance. And it is written that sometimes those in your own household will be your worst enemy. I, I didn't say that that scripture. So what said, fight the good fight of faith. God loves you. Never give up the fight. And let me remember, let me just remind you of one other thing. There's another scripture I'd like to remind you. Remember that the race isn't given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but he that endureth till the end shall be saved. God loves you. You are never alone, for your God is with you. When you want something, we are supposed to pray always without ceasing. Give God the glory, for the Lord abides in the praises of his people. You know, a lot of time I was alone, I remember when I had cancer, and the saints gathered around me, and I didn't know which way it would up, but we prayed, the saints prayed, and I was a heal, I was a work in progress. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not sinlessly perfect. I, I hear sinless perfection preached, but I don't know anything about that. But I am a work in progress, praise God. I thank God I, I'm... I'm not where I should be, but I'm not where I was. You understand? I repent. Every day I get up, I might have did something wrong. I might have been angry or did something wrong or offended somebody. So I repent and ask the Lord to help me not to make the same mistakes. Sometimes I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm a work in progress. And we, what about when we are worried? Let's turn to uh, uh, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. 
Don't worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, to God be the glory, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Praise God. Now that is powerful. Huh? Don't worry. Worrying will not add one cubit to your measure. That's what the Christ said. That's what our Savior said. He wants you to fight the good fight of faith. Do you imagine 39 stripes? Look at the torment that he went through for me and you. You know, most of the world can't even pick their Bible up and read like we can. Uh, right out in the open or in their own house. It's against the law. In a lot of countries on earth, there are more people being crucified now and, and murdered for their faith in Christ than at any time or uh, uh, 2,000 years ago. That's right, but you don't hear that. So what I'm saying, you fight the good fight of faith. Never give up. That we can see and be with the Lord forever. Be encouraged. A lot of time, man, I just be depressed, but not depressed, almost like, Lord, I'm ready to give up. And then after prayer, I get refreshed. Praise God. That's the Holy Spirit. That's what we're supposed to pray for us to be, ourselves to be filled with the Holy Spirit and that we be refreshed. I'm not perfect. Like I said, I'm a work in progress. But God bless you, and I love you with the love of the Lord. And keep the faith. God bless you. And be encouraged in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. Amen.